But what makes Tegra X1 really, really special is what it can do. Now, one of the things that, that um, Tegra X1 is able to do, of course, is run the state-of-the-art engines that any desktop computer can run. And because Maxwell is the most advanced GPU architecture in the world, we're able to run every application or any application that requires the architecture of Maxwell. At last year's launch of the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, the premier demo was the Unreal Engine demo called Elemental. In fact, we showed this very demo about two and a half years ago, and it consumed about 300 watts for us to perform that. Last year, at the launch of these next generation game consoles, Unreal Engine 4 running Elemental consumed well over 100 watts. And now, in just a power envelope of a TX1, which is about 10 watts, we're going to show you the state-of-the-art Unreal Engine 4 running Elemental. Guys, let's roll it. It is the world's first mobile superchip to exceed one teraflops of computational throughput. One teraflops. Now to put that in perspective, up until the year 2000, the fastest supercomputer in the world achieved one teraflops. Now of course it's 64-bit floating point instead of 16. However, 16 is what we need and I'll explain that in just a moment. One teraflops in the year 2000 was the fastest supercomputer in the world. It required 10,000 Pentium Pros and consumed one million watts. One million watts. Literally just a decade and a half ago. A decade and a half later, we're now able to put the supercomputing capability into one little tiny chip. Now if you were to compare Tegra X1's floating point performance to the highest end performance CPU today, the Core i7, it's even pretty impressive by that standard. Now, a, Teg a Tegra X1 consumes about 10 watts running full out. A Core i7 running full out consumes somewhere between 100 to 200 watts. Tegra X1, the world's first teraflops mobile processor. 256 GPU cores, state-of-the-art Maxwell, Eight cores of CPU, 64-bit CPU, arranged in a 4, 4 plus 4, and the world's first mobile chip, that 4K, 60 hertz, 10-bit video, and H.265, as well as VP9. That's our first announcement, what was initially called, codenamed Arista, known by many of you who follow us very closely, is now called Tegra X1. Thank you.